Episode 10. Episode 10, baby. Keep forgetting. Episode 10. All right. Episode 10. That was a long intro, huh? Well, I took long because... I was thinking through the whole intro, I was like, okay, well, when I get to episode 11, how am I going to do it with my fingers? <laughs> so, anyways, I'll figure it out, so stay tuned, I guess. So, um, the episode is titled, Keep Forgetting, and um, I think this is one of the more important episodes out of the whole series, because... Um, I think a lot of people can relate. Um, so <clears throat> I wanted to talk about, um, the topic of forgetting and the topic of forgiveness. And I think, um, you guys will you know, really enjoy the end message. So, um, just follow along with the video. Um, <clears throat> I think forgetting and forgiving, um, are two very different ideas and when you forget something you kind of put it behind you you don't really talk about it you you just don't acknowledge it anymore and when you forgive you you truly accept the truth of whatever it is that that you're trying to forgive um, I think a lot of us fall in the habit of, of just forgetting about our problems, just forgetting about what happened to us or what's currently happening to us or, or something somebody did to you. And, and, it, you know, in order for you to, for it not to bug you, you just don't talk about it anymore. You stop talking about it with people and you you think that that's how you fix the problem and and yeah it might be a quick solution but in the long term in the long run it's still it's still there it's still there you you ran from your problem um or you hid from your problem and obviously every you know there's certain problems that 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 this might not apply to, but for the majority of it, you know, if you ran into a problem, if you came across something that that really bugged you or that that really hurt you, you know, it, it's there. It's in the back of your mind. And so anyways, I wanted to, uh, you know, talk about the difference between those two and actually forgiving. You know, we all have we all have, like I said, situations that that hurt us. Or, or that that brought us down, that beat us down, and and actually forgiving the source of that hurt is, I think, the most important part. Um, now you can say, "Hey, I forgive you," and and you can vocalize it, and you can verbalize it, and 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 it's not that doesn't mean you mean it. Take it from me. Um, to learn to forgive is something that requires you to dig deep, very deep, very deep. Very deep. <laughs> so, but it's possible. It's possible to forgive. It's possible to forgive people um, in any context. I'm not just uh, talking about. A specific thing you know um, I've been hurt at work I've been hurt in my personal life I've been hurt <laughs> I guess those are the two things work and personal life or um, you know and in my personal life I guess it branches out into different things we, we, we hurt um, and it silences us. It put makes us things. It it, it really um, kind of shuts you down as a person, you know. And 
and it, it, you know, for a while I thought about, you know, about what I wanted to say with this video, and and I reflected on my own tough situations, and and I stayed quiet for a long time about certain things, and I it felt good to stay quiet. At that time, it felt good to just not talk about it with anybody, uh, talk about my problems with anybody, just stick to myself, thinking that I'm going to solve my own problems, and that's how it was going to be. And and it worked. It was a temporary relief, but I can honestly say that things didn't really turn around for me until I learned to forgive and and uh, you know acknowledge that we're humans we make mistakes we you know i've heard plenty of people i've heard plenty of people and and through some of my darkest times that's what popped into my head is is why why is it okay for me to hurt somebody and when I get hurt, why is that not okay? How is that even fair? How can I do evil things to people and it'd be okay? And I'm not saying I'm like, you know, I did the most horrific things, but it, I've, I've done people wrong. I've backstabbed people. I've betrayed people. I've, you never, I've never really stolen from anybody, but you know, in some sense, I've, I've stolen their moments. I've, I've been the bad guy. I've been the bad guy, and how was that even fair for me to start pointing fingers at people or at, at a situation and say, no, 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 I'm the victim. I'm a victim of this. I can't be the victim because I've also been on the other side. So rather than... They start pointing fingers at, at, at the situation. I was like, okay, well, I need to face my face my hurt, face my hurt, and apologize, and and that's about as much as I can do. And then on the same token, forgive those who have hurt me. And I've had a bunch of people hurt me. My I have had people that at some point they call themselves my friends and they hurt me and my family. And it stuck with me for a long time. I held a lot of a resentment, a lot of anger, you know, of, of people backstabbing me and, and me and my family. And <laughs> just even talking about it is getting me all worked up. But... but it, it wasn't worth it. Just forgive. Forgive and forget. Forgive people because they make mistakes too. We don't know what where they were at in life when, when they made those decisions, you know? And we all mature at different paces. I've, I've, I've seen people mature at a very young age. And I've seen immature people at an older age. And it's all about experiences. So because of those experiences, how, how can we, how can we just start pointing fingers at, at, at whenever they, they make a bad decision or they make a mistake or they embarrass somebody or, or they make a bad decision at work? You know, everybody has the opportunity to learn. Uh, and at work specifically, man, I don't know how many times I've made mistakes. And luckily, it hasn't costed me my job, but, you know, it, it, I've made mistakes that, I, that have matured me as a teacher, that have given me that experience that I need, you know, to be able to handle different situations. And, and, and I never really believed this, and now I do, um, that, you know, to live and learn, live and learn. And and keep growing as a person, but forgiveness is definitely a part of that. Forgive yourself, forgive other people, forgive the situation. Um, learn to say I'm sorry and actually mean it. Learn to say I'm sorry to people, whether it's uh, in person or through text or 
or through any other form um, that you can think of. But at least saying sorry is the first step. Um, obviously, it, it has to go beyond that. But I think that, that that's the start. Putting your pride aside and, and maturing as a person. Um, like I said, forgiveness is very important to be able to live a positive life. And if the, the situation that you're trying to forgive is still not over, it's still, you know, it's still ongoing, it's still going on right now, then, then be patient and be mature about it. Handle that situation as mature as, as it can be. If kids are involved, then it's definitely a tough situation. So put your pride aside and don't take anybody's anybody's BS but keep your kids in the in the front of everything uh, kids or kid in the front of everything and making sure that that you model what what behavior you want them to get out of it you know don't start getting all defensive about things um, because then it's gonna be really hard to forgive people if, if you just keep going at it and keep going at it and and then Again, different situations, uh, you know, different things. But I think the overall message of this video was was to talk about that. And rather than just uh, forgetting about your problems, you know, forgetting about about what hurts you, you know, and just keeping it in the in the back of your mind, you know. Learn to forgive. Learn to say, I'm sorry. Learn to accept people's sorries. Sometimes we get caught up in, ah, well, you said sorry. You don't mean it. You said sorry. You don't mean it. You hurt me. You're a bad person. You um, you did this to me. You did that to me. And saying sorry is not going to fix it. Well, you're right. It's never going to fix it if that's the attitude you're taking. If you not accepting their sorry is not enough, then you're right. It's never going to fix it. Don't get caught up on, on any other other than your own positive outcome out of it. Be positive about your problems. And I know it's tough at work. I know it's tough to take somebody's BS. But you know what? That's life. That's life. You're not always going to be... The bigger man. Sometimes the bigger man has to be the smaller man. Or girls. Sometimes the bigger girl has to be the smaller girl. Think about it like that. Think about it like that. And don't take things so personal. Um, forgive those people that hurt you. Um, or situations. Um, so sometimes things get out of hand really quickly. And. And they hurt you so much that it's tough to forgive. But find some outlet that allows you to forget about it temporarily. But eventually you have to face it and you have to forgive. Um, YouTube has been my outlet. It has opened up a, a different side of me that I really enjoy. And this is brand new to me. You know, I have different ideas. Like I told you guys at the beginning of the episodes, I have different ideas. And I have uh, different plans for this. But it's been my outlet. It's been my my go-to um, source for uh, de-stress. Um, and I encourage you all to, to find something like that. And find something that allows you to keep your mind at peace so that you're able to forgive. Um, you know. I think that's the overall message for this video. I appreciate everybody watching. Um, please like my my uh, my videos. Go and, and watch the other ones. Um, again, they're all different messages. Uh, different 
uh, different content. Um, I encourage you to to leave comments um, relating about this topic. You don't have to tell me anything personal because I understand, you know. If you, you know, like I told you guys, I'm not I'm not here to be anybody's uh, problem solver. I'm just here to maybe give you a different perspective. Um, you know, but I, I I'll hear I'll hear you out and 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 I'll I'll give you my feedback or or my take on it or kind of like uh, what I would do in that situation uh, and hopefully it would work for you. You know, that's about as much as I can do. You've invested so much time in these videos or at least in this video that that you deserve my attention. You know, if you got to this point almost at the end, huh? Um, so leave comments. Uh, my Snapchat. Get at me. You can get at me there. Uh, Snapchat is rpacheco2382. Um, and just add me. And, and I, until I get my camera, that's pretty much where I'm doing, like, my, my vlogging, my day my day to day. And um, like I said, I deleted it. As soon as I know I posted something silly, I'll think about it a couple of, you know, minutes or whatever. and or, or half a day or whatever, and then I end up deleting it. So just keep up with it. So add me on Snapchat. Don't be don't be too shy to do that. I already had people DMing me and, and just small conversation and not you know I don't you know I don't mind at all. You know go for, if, if you have a comment or whatever I can reply back real quick and, and that's a great way to get a hold of me. Um, so also um, you know go ahead and check out my brother's YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Um, like I said he's uh, also going to be including some some good content, some good hears for you guys, uh, some good listens. Um, we, we have two different careers, two different uh, experiences, um, but the stuff that he's encountering in his job and or, or that he's going through in his life might also be a, a, a good um, good source for you to, to just, you know, to hear something out and, and, and maybe you're going through that same situation as well. Um, so thank you all. Episode 10. Um, and keep watching my other episodes. I thank each and every one of you guys um, for all the uh, all the views, all the likes, all the all the you know all the attention that you're putting into this channel. Um, and don't think I was gonna. End this video without giving a shout out to my barber. My barber. What's up, fly dude, man? Fly dude, look. Fresh cut. Maybe maybe I'm going to do an episode with him, huh? Because I, I know you guys been waiting to meet him. I mean, I see that guy more than I see my girlfriend. With the pens. Only you're watching this video. Peace.